What follows are examples of play as found in the rule book for Napoleon Returns. This will help explain certain rules and situations in the game. If the Allied Prussian player causes the French player, who occupied Ghent during his turn with the First and Second Corps, to retreat, the Allied Prussian player does not gain any cohesion points. However, if the French player won the combat, each of the Allied Corps would be reduced by two. The French player has five movement points on turn one. He moves the Imperial Guard and another Corps to Tuen from Beaumont, which costs two of the five movement points. He then moves the same two units into Charleroi, which costs two more movement points. Because both units moved an additional location, they each lose a cohesion point. The French cavalry now moves two locations into Charleroi, which expends the final movement point. Napoleon may now move two locations to Charleroi, as leaders do not expend movement points. The Imperial Guard moving into Waterloo triggers combat with each side drawing five combat cards. The French player is the active player and starts the first round as the attacker with a skirmish card. The allied player matches it with his skirmish card and now it's the defender's turn. The allied side with Wellington is successful in making a counterattack with a die roll of two. So as the new attacker, they play the combined arms card. The French player cannot match the card and thus loses the battle. In addition to losing two cohesion points for the two battle rounds they participated in, they must retreat and the Imperial Guard takes another cohesion point loss. This reduces the Imperial Guard to three cohesion points. The Allied player takes a single cohesion point loss, which is half the French losses, and applies it to their second corps. A combat occurs in Brussels. After the first round, Napoleon and the First Corps are located nearby in Waterloo. A die is rolled for each unit in the attempt to reinforce the French in Brussels. The First Corps rolls a 3, which is higher than their tactical rating, so they stay in place. A 3 is rolled for Napoleon, which matches his tactical rating, so he can move. This adds three combat cards to the French player's hand as it is based on Napoleon's tactical rating. The First Corps may attempt to reinforce at the end of the next round of combat, assuming there is no winner. In this example, the French player has three corps and Napoleon present in the battle location. However, they have lost in five rounds of combat to an unmatched Grand Battery card. The French player must expend five losses to his forces because the combat went five rounds. The French distribute two losses to one corps, two losses to another corps, and one loss to the final corps. They must now retreat along with Napoleon one location. This results in another cohesion loss for each core during the retreat. The allied player suffers two cohesion losses which occurs because the winning side must suffer half rounded down the losses of the losing side. Because the allied player won, they do not have to retreat. The arrival of the Prussians not only doomed the battle for Napoleon, but lost him the war. Once again, he was sent into exile but this time on a faraway island never to return. Along the shoreline of the remote island, St. Helena, an aged beyond his years Napoleon Bonaparte stood gazing at his first true friend, the ocean. As he looked across the waves, he must have realized that while he was thousands of miles from his birthplace in Corsica, his life had come full circle.